My name is John, John LaRue. I'm from uh, uh, kind of everywhere. Winchester is my base right now. And I've been living in this thing for four years. That is my address, wherever I can park it. It's a 1999 Dodge, with 318 engine in it, 268,000 miles. And I've been living it, like I say, for four years. I've got the fantastic vent, which is auto automatic, it closes in the rain. I've got two solar panels. 80 watt solar panels, come down to 200 watt amp hour uh, batteries, gel cells, solar charger, electric charger, and an inverter. And uh, up front here, there's a little red switch, takes my battery in the car, or I switch it to number two, which is my batteries in the rear for my solar. That way I can work everything in the car from my solar batteries and not use this battery, mm -hmm. which I'm doing right now. So I can use my navigation, my DVD player, my surround sound, anything I want inside. And uh, it won't discharge this battery. I'm still working on that because it's an all new system for me. I put it in there two years ago, three years ago actually. It's the first thing I've ever done. Well, there's nothing up front. I used to have a, uh, used to have a box I built right here to put a uh, 20 pound gas tank. Mm -hmm. well, I took it out because I need another entrance since I did away with this one. So that's just my car parts right now because it's changed okay. the oil and did all those things. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing up front here. The awning came off an old pop-up camper. I found it and I got it for nothing. I got the rail for it and I put it up here. It comes out seven feet and I've got the enclosure for it so I can close it in. And I come in that door when I do that. Mm -hmm. And this is what I ended up with in the side because these tools used to be in the back on the, in a drawer. So I said, I need to make it more convenient for me. So I can go right here, take everything I need. All my power tools are here, a way to charge them. I can put the inverter and make these work. And um, so I've got it all that way. In there is my pantry. Those drawers and old post office drawers, all my food, my canned food, my uh, tuna fish and my oatmeal, and all my nutrition bars. And right above it in that cubby is all my canned foods, spare and uh, mostly uh, hydrate, uh, what do you call those? Uh, the meals that you buy at Walmart and stuff. Mm -hmm. And above you here, there's another shelf. On that shelf is more canned goods. So I'm totally self-contained as far as food goes. My clothes are stored up above there. Mm -hmm. There's four containers up there. One for pants, one for shirts, one for underwear, one for socks. <laughs> <laughs> so, and on the back side of this, is just one of those little hang-up shoe racks. Mm. Instead of hanging them up, I screwed them to the plywood and I closed the back off mm -hmm. so I don't have to get it to it from this side. So all my shoes stay over there. That way I have no more use for this door other than work. Right. I keep them closed and it don't work. <laughs> <laughs> but if I have to, I can do anything right here. This plug is, when I put the awning out, I've got a ground fall plug here to use. Mm -hmm. I, in order to get my inverter to work, because it's all piecemeal right now, I didn't buy an inverter, didn't have the money. So I got a little piece here, a piece there, truck stops here, truck stops there, and I'll put it all together. So if I, and I made up a cord which has two male ends. One goes into the plug that's in the van, the other goes into the inverter. So I backfeed all my plugs. So that would make this live and I could use it. 1500 watt inverter for whatever time it takes. Solar chargers, uh, they're putting out 18 volts right now. They come into this cubby right here. Let me get on this side here. These are all my controls. Solar charger's there. This is one gel cell battery. The other one's down below. There's my electric charger in the back. Because when you plug in the shore power, it knows which one does what. They're all digitally operated. And this is my fuse box for all my 12 volts. 110 volts is being an electrician. I just made good splices and <laughs> globbed them up and put them somewhere, which I'll change eventually. But I had this so I made so I can keep it closed up in here. And it doesn't come down. And this uh, right here is my numbers, 18.6 coming from the solar panels. They're not clean, so that's probably, and normally it's 21, 22 volts. And this is my batteries. My batteries are at 13 point, no, 12.6 right now. So I've been running this fans all day. Mm -hmm. So in my storage, one of my storage units are under here. Mm -hmm. Keeps all my parts in place. And back in that little cubby, I'll even go, give me a chance to crawl there. I'll show you how that works. Push this little door. Here's my porta potty right here. 
So I just pull that out when I need it, mm -hmm. push it back. Eventually I'm going to take this bowl and put a pipe down to the top of this because the top half of this is all water to flush with. So I'll use the sink water, brushing my teeth, etc., etc., to go in there. When that's full, I can empty them both or use that to flush the toilet. Perfect. And uh, of course, I've got my paper towel rack up here. And my TV is a uh, mirror my, from my phone. Mm -hmm. I can mirror Hulu, which is what I get up with my phone for free. And I watch my movies and YouTube videos up there. So hopefully, I'll see this up there. <laughs> see your microwave up there? The microwave is up there. It's a 700 watt microwave. Mm -hmm. The refrigerator warmer, it's not on right now because I don't have anything in it. I only use it in cool. if you put something in there cold, mm -hmm. it'll keep it chilled. But it, it's, the surrounding air makes a difference on how well it cools. It's not, not a compressor unit. Mm -hmm. But my electric heater is under it in case I need it. So when I'm plugged into shore power, I can use electric heat. If not, I can use my propane heater. So I have a choice in what I use. And that says, quit your belly aching up top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I keep my toiletries up, up top here. I just keep extra toilet bags, they call them, which are biodegradable. You do your business in them. You mm -hmm. fold them up to them in the trash can. And I live out of these two bags, mostly. This bag is for my shelter and bedding. Right now, my sleeping bag is right there. This bag is my food bag. And the way this man operates, all his food is in this container right here. And being organized, I took an old camera bag, cut it up, and made this out of it. So I've got my stoves. I've got a wood stove here. I got a um, I got an emergency radio, which also charges my phone. It works off of solar and crank. Keep my water in here. Keep my cups in here. Keep my food, my crackers, my peanuts, and all that good stuff. And uh, lighting is on this side with different ways to make fire. Mm -hmm. And in the front, I keep my cords and stuff. And then on the side is my medication, being diabetic. So I gotta prick my fingers every day. <laughs> So that all stays in that bag. And there's also storage underneath this. I can open this up and there's more storage in there. Mm -hmm. And my working storage is back here. Keep my machete in here, my my hatchet, and my wire cutters because I'm an electrician. Okay. So you didn't say this pulls out? This, this yeah. used to have my tools. Yeah, but it pulls out. Yeah. yeah pulls out. That's all my tools that you right see there. on the side are, were in here. Were there, yeah. So now I just put the basic stuff I have to pull from all the time. Mm -hmm. That way it's a lot easier on this drawer. And I keep stuff behind here too. And my, you know, I've got a secret compartment in here for my files and stuff like that, so. So that's the whole unit. And I got a rear view camera, so I can see what's going on behind me. Which I can switch up to either back up with or see who's behind me at all times. Yeah. I'd like to get a TV I can put back here, which I can type in whatever I want, like get off my ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> so. I see you got a hitch too, so you can do some, some towing. Yeah, I had a uh, um, Suzuki Samurai. I towed behind here as a vehicle to run around in. Mm -hmm. And my wife, before she died, God rest her, she sold it out from under me. So I lost that. <laughs> too much money to try to find another one. So I'm all set up for that if I need it. It's a 1500 series, so it's a half ton basically, so I can't really tow a whole lot of heavy stuff. So. And I've learned that this is all I need. Perfect. So that's the whole unit. Very nice.